Gabon enjoys a per capita income four times that of most nations of sub-Saharan Africa. Its reliance on resource extraction industry releasing much of the population from extreme poverty, financial problems, overspending on the Trans-Gabon Railway, the oil price of 1986, and the franc CFA devaluation of 1994 have caused debt problems. Gabon has earned a poor reputation with the Paris Club and the International Monetary Fund for poor management of its debt and revenues. IMF missions have criticized the government for overspending on off-budget items, over-borrowing from the central bank, and slipping on the schedule for privatization and administrative reform. Gabon's oil revenues have given it a strong per capita GDP of more than $10,000, extremely high for the region. On the other hand, a skewed income distribution and poor social indicators are evident. The economy is highly dependent on extraction of abundant primary materials. After oil, timber and manganese mining are the other major sectors. Gabon continues to face fluctuating prices for its oil, timber, manganese, and uranium exports. Foreign and Gabonese observers have consistently lamented the lack of transformation of primary materials in the Gabonese economy. Various factors have so far stymied more diversification. The small processing and service sectors are largely dominated by just a few prominent local investors. In 1992, the fiscal deficit widened to 2.4% of GDP, and Gabon failed to settle arrears on its bilateral debt, leading to a cancellation of rescheduling agreements with official and private creditors. Devaluation of its CFA franc by 50% on 12 January 1994 sparked a one-time inflationary surge to 35%. The rate dropped to 6% in 1996. The IMF provided a one-year standby arrangement in 1994-1995 and a three-year enhanced financing facility at near commercial rates beginning in late. 1995, those agreements mandate progress in privatization and fiscal discipline. France provided additional financial support in January 1997 after Gabon had met IMF targets for mid-1996. In 1997, an IMF mission to Gabon criticized the government for overspending on off-budget items, over-borrowing from the central bank and slipping on its schedule for privatization and administrative reform. The rebound of oil prices in 1999 helped growth but drops in production hampered Gabon from fully realizing potential gains. Animal Husbandry Animal husbandry is limited by the presence of the ZC fly. Though ZC-resistant cattle have recently been imported from Senegal to a cattle project, in 2005 there were an estimated 212,000 hogs, 195,000 sheep, 90,000 goats, 35,000 head of cattle, and 3.1 million chickens. In an effort to reduce Gabon's reliance on meat imports, the government set aside 200,000 hectares in Gabon's unpopulated savanna region for three ranches at Gonier, Nyanga, and Lekabi. Currently, however, frozen imports are the most important source of beef, costing four times less than locally produced beef. Poultry production satisfies about one half of Gabon's consumption demand. Typical annual production of poultry amounts to 3,600 tons. Fishing While there have been recent improvements in the fishing industry, it is still relatively undeveloped. Traditional fishing accounts for two-thirds of total catch. The waters off the Gabonese coast contain large quantities of fish. Gabonese waters are estimated to be able to support an annual catch of 15,000 tons of tuna and 12,000 tons of sardines. The fishing fleet was formerly based chiefly in Libreville. A new fishing port, however, was built at Port Gentle in 1979. Port Gentle is now the center of operations for the industrial fleet. Plans for a cannery, fish meal factory, and refrigerated storage facilities are underway. 
The total catch in 2003 was 44,855 tons, 80% from the Atlantic. By international agreement and Gabonese law, an exclusive economic zone extends 200 miles off the coast, which prohibits any foreign fishing company to fish in this zone without governmental authorization. However, since Gabon has no patrol boats, foreign trawlers often illegally capture tuna in Gabonese waters. Industry Gabon's industry is centered on petroleum, manganese mining, and timber processing. Most industrial establishments are located near Libreville and Port Gentle. Virtually all industrial enterprises were established with government subsidies in the oil boom years of the 1970s. Timber-related concerns include five veneer plants and a large 50-year-old plywood factory in Port Gentle, along with two other small plywood factories. Other industries include textile plants, cement factories, chemical plants, breweries, shipyards, and cigarette factories. Gabonese manufacturing is highly dependent on foreign inputs, and import costs rose significantly in 1994 when the CFA franc was devalued. Increased costs and oversized capacity have made the manufacturing sector less competitive and it mainly supplies the domestic market. The government has taken steps to privatize parastatal enterprises. Because the Gabonese economy is dependent upon oil, it is subject to worldwide price fluctuations. Gabon is sub-Saharan Africa's third largest crude oil producer and exporter, although there are concerns that proven reserves are declining and production has declined as well. Thus the country has taken steps to diversify the economy, and to engage in further petroleum exploration. The Sagara oil refinery at Port Gentle is the sole refinery in Gabon. The country produced 302,000 barrels of oil per day in 2001, which was a decrease of 9% from 1999 production levels. Gabon's proven oil reserves were estimated at 2.5 billion barrels in 2002, and its proven natural gas reserves were estimated at 1.2 trillion cubic feet. Statistics GDP Purchasing power parity $21.44 billion GDP Real growth rate 3.6% GDP per capita Purchasing power parity $14,400 GDP Composition by sector Agriculture 5.7% industry 57.2% services 37% population below poverty line, no percent household income or consumption by percentage share, lowest 10%, no percent highest 10%, no percent inflation rate, 5% labor force, 592,000 labor force by occupation, agriculture 60%, services and government 25%, industry and commerce 15% unemployment rate, 21% budget, revenues, $4.46 billion expenditures, $2.75 billion industries, food and beverage, textile, lumbering and plywood, cement, petroleum extraction and refining, manganese, uranium, and gold mining, chemical production, ship repair industrial production growth rate, 1.5% oil, production 244,000 barrels, de-oil, consumption 13,170 barrels, de-oil, exports 255,000 barrels, de-oil, imports 2,485 barrels, de-oil, proven, reserves 2 billion barrels natural gas, production 100 million cum natural gas, consumption 100 million cum CUM natural gas, exports 0 CUM, natural gas, imports 0 CUM natural gas, proven reserves 28.32 billion CUM electricity, production, 1.671 terawatt hours electricity, production by source.
Fossil fuel, 27.8%, hydro, 72.2%, nuclear, 0% other, 0% electricity, consumption, 1.365 gigawatt hours electricity, exports, 0 kilowatt hours electricity, imports, 0 kilowatt hours agriculture, products. Cocoa, coffee, sugar, palm oil, rubber, cattle, okoum, fish current account, balance $591 million currency. One commune out a financier african franc equals 100 centim exchange rates. Commune out a financier african francs per $1.507.71, 472.5. Note.